Today I'm going to show you how to swap one of these lenses the easy way. Hi, welcome back to the shed. Lenses on Game Boys can sometimes get scratched or you might get an upgrade with a different style and you want to swap them out. And very often it involves taking apart the entire Game Boy to get that removed. What we're going to look at today is an alternative method of taking these off and swapping them. First things first, this is not an original Pokemon Edition shell. In case you were panicking that I was going to be taking that apart, it's just a fairly cheap repro shell. It's lovely, it's got like a nice kind of um, pearlescent gold finish on it. And it came with the Pokemon lens, so I put the Pokemon lens in. Um, but I want to change it partly because this is just a plastic lens on here. And what I've got is a glass lens that I'm going to be doing an upgrade with. Um, this glass lens doesn't have any adhesive on it, so we're going to talk about that in a little bit as well. But main thing is removing this. If I end up doing it and I change my mind, I've even got a spare of the Pokemon lens. So there's no uh, worries with that. But in terms of removing it, what we've got to think about is how to actually do it. Now, the temptation might be to try and find something to fit down the edge and sort of lever it up. The problem is, although this is a plastic lens, this plastic is softer. So if you put anything down there, even something relatively soft, like the flat edge on a spudger, to dig down the gap and try and ease it out, what you're going to do is you're going to cut into the bit around the frame and you'll always see that. So you want to keep it as neat as you can. So your other option is to take it apart and push it out from the inside. But taking it apart can be a bit of a pain. And especially if you've got a Game Boy like this one, which has got the backlit screen in there, you want to keep that as intact as possible. I managed to get it nice and neatly centered there. You don't really want to go messing that up. So what we need to do is find some way of, of removing that screen. And this is our secret weapon. It's just a mobile phone holder for going on a car window. But the main thing is less about the mobile phone holder bit and more about the bit that attaches to the window. This has got like a rubber sucker on it, um, which is fairly high pressure. It's got a little lever on there to give us a bit more purchase. So what I'm hoping is I can just place that on the front of the screen, get it to stick, and then got something to hold on to to remove it. So whether it's going to work we shall see so first of all i'm going to line it up as near to a corner as i can and just placing it on there like that and i will push it on push down the lever and then try and pull that off it did not work at all did it <laughs> right let's try again right First things first, this is a little bit cold, so what I'm going to do is warm it up a little bit on a radiator, give this a really good clean and see if that makes it work any better. Right, so the lens has been cleaned a bit more and the suction cup has gone a little bit warmer, feels a bit more flexible, so let's try that again. Push it on to our surface. Push it down attach that and there we go so you see as I lift it that just starts to pull it away there so I'm going to twist it just to get this corner to lift and then just carefully keep easing that off and let it remove and now that that's off I can just ease the rest of it off there and we are done and we didn't have to take it apart and now I'm ready to put on my glass lens I'm just going to pop this plastic one over it for now mainly just to keep any dust off it and take a look at the lens that we've got now that does not have any adhesive backing a lot of these come with adhesive backing but this one doesn't so I think what I'll do is I'll get some of my double-sided tape and just put a few strips on here ready to just drop that glass lens on it should be fine Right, so I've got the tape in place there. Before I peel off the top, I can spot the odd tiny speck. Um, so I'm gonna use my technique for removing those, not brushing them off, because all you do is end up moving them around. I'll just take a bit of low tack masking tape, loop it back on itself like that, and then just dab it on the screen and it just picks up those little specks of dust quite easily. And it doesn't leave any marks or residue on the screen. That's lifted all those up. Now I can peel the back in. Now, of course, if you've got the right adhesive strip, then, you know, like on the back of this plastic one here, 
then by all means use that to put your glass lens in place. But in the absence of one of those, double-sided tape is ideal. Um, and that's because if you try and use glue, you always run the risk of it kind of spilling over onto the LCD or into the gaps um, or reacting with the lens itself. Um, or sometimes even if you use something like super glue, it's got like the, it's not like a gas coming off it, but it, in the sort of area around it, it can disperse like tiny particles of it, which can discolor the plastic and cause problems. So I would tend to avoid anything like that and just stick with double-sided tape. Double-sided tape, you get a very similar bond to what you get with the lens that I've just removed, which means that if you change your mind about this lens, you can remove it in the same kind of way. Same can't be said if you use super glue. So I'm going to carefully peel off the film back in here and just drop that in place on my Game Boy. It should just sit in there quite neatly. Once I'm happy it's in the right position, I can press that in place and it'll just hold on that double sided tape. So just smooth that all around there. Um, rather than your fingers, which will have a bit of traction to them, if you get like a microfiber cloth, you can usually sort of smooth across and you're not likely to cause any bother. Normally, I will peel off the film on top before sticking it down to avoid any static discharge. Um, but wasn't sure how this was going to work out, so I might have needed to take it off and put it back on again. I wanted to avoid any fingerprints and things, so that is now in place seems okay and I can remove the cover there a gentle polish with the microfiber cloth just clean that all up and that looks really nice and professional so there we go I switch on and it all looks great so there you go no fancy tools just a simple cheap mobile phone holder it's this part that you're concerned with and the ones that you can get that kind of clamp in place are ideal because they're quite loose and flexible so you put that clip on and we've ended up with a really nice subtle stylish looking Game Boy Color with a nice glass lens for a really clear view so that's pretty much it good luck if you're going to try it yourself um that was a third party lens so it had fairly recent adhesive on it so it was quite easy to get off it might be more difficult uh with older models that might where the glue might have set a little bit more um but persevere these are i mean these are designed to withstand quite a bit of weight hanging off a moving vehicle so you know they are fairly strong these suckers so give it a go it won't be ideal for all of them if, like with mine, it doesn't work at first, just try a little bit of heat so it becomes more flexible. You get a tighter seal that way. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, if you need to remove a lens and you can't be bothered taking apart your Game Boy, it's worth a try. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a like, leave a comment and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of thing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.